Hello everyone, this is Stunter Collector here with another action figure review. And here we have the Marvel Legends series Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness Doctor Strange figure here. Um, I found them at Walmart. That's where there a lot of people are finding them. That's where I found all mine. Uh, I know some people are finding them at Target as well. So check both Walmart and Target if you can. Um, but yeah, let's go over the packaging first. So you get the Marvel Legends logo here on top. You get the Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness logo here. Doctor Strange. Here is a side art of Doctor Strange in the new movie. Here is the back of the with the back art there. And you hear, you get a little description of Doctor Strange. Marvel Legends logo here. And then uh, for the build a figure, we'll be uh, building uh, Rentra. I think that's how you say his name. Rentra. And he comes with Doctor Strange, which we're doing right now. We got Wong, American Chavez, Mordo, um, the uh, astral form Doctor Strange, Disprate, I think that's how you pronounce his name. And then um, I think that's Sleepwalker. Yep, that's it, Sleepwalker. Here's the other side art. Here is the top with the Doctor Strange logo here on furnished on top with the red. And here's the bottom with the DCPI. But besides that, let's crack them open. And here is Doctor Strange out of the package here. So let's start with the big accessories, which is his um, cloak of levitation. Uh, so yeah, you get that nice texturing here. Uh, you get that nice wavy cape here. You don't get the peg there. You get the gold little details here near the like corners of the cape here. You get that circular shape that we've seen before from the No Way Home one. I think this is the same exact sculpt, to be honest. And you get that nice quilt texture there. Uh, it's soft plastic, so you can bend it. It's rubber, I mean. I don't know. It's kind of like a mixture between the two. Uh, and then you get that collar flap there. So, yeah. And then for that, you just kind of hang it right on top there. I mean, it looks a little oversized, but it's not too bad. I wish they would kind of fold it like that to make it look more, like, uniformed. But, oh, well, it's not too bad. Um, So, yeah, that's the cloak of levitation there. You got these uh spell hands here which kind of look like he's doing like a he's about to do a spider-man twip thing oops hey i smacked him um so you can get him to stand up nope he's not wanting to stand up you want to stay there we go so yeah he's doing that that's a spell hand uh, and then we got another one for the other arm but he's doing it with the middle finger going down instead i think uh, yeah they're a little different they're a little different uh, and then we got these hands here, which are the uh, circular shield. Uh, these are soft plastic, but be very careful. Don't try to take them off. He's doing the... Uh, so my phone was being stupid, sorry. Um, but yeah, you don't want to pull these off. They're pretty darn um, fragile. But yeah, these are transparent plastic with some orange hint to it. And then these hands do articulate. Like I said, though, be careful with it. You get a smaller version of it on the other hand, though. And then that's all we got there. Here's Doctor Strange up close. So yeah, we got that same head sculpt from the No Way Home figure. Um, you get that nice gray kind of look there. It's not as sh uh, noticeable as the No Way Home one is. And you get that goatee. It's kind of like faded. So I kind of wish they kind of made it more um, noticeable. And then, yeah, the head sculpt looks um, exactly like uh, Benedict Cumberbatch. Just the, the paint job is a little off, but yeah, you get the blue eyes for him and everything. So, and then you get his new suit here. So, this one's like a little bit more comic accurate. You get that symbol there that he has. The Agamag I have Agamotto is kind of attached to his suit instead of a necklace now. And I like the red detailing around that symbol that you got around it. And I think, yeah. It's just there. And then you got that belt there with some nice red. You got the sling ring in there. Some silver and gray texture in there. You got those red details there all the way around. Here's the back. Wish they painted the back, though. 
And then here's the arms. You got that nice, like, light blue there for the, like, forearm guards or wraps, whatever you want to call them. And then you got the wraps, the brown wraps. Here you got a spell here where he's doing, like, a peace sign or partial peace sign, kind of. And then you got a fist here. And then you got the uh, legs. Don't know what type of legs these are from. I think these are brand new legs, actually, because of the boots. Because they don't want... I think these are... Yeah, these are brand new legs. Because these boots are not thigh cuts. So, yeah. Uh, we got pinless knees, pinless elbows. So, that's nice. So, let's go over to articulation. So, you got double ball joint in the head. That goes down that far. Up that far. 360... Left and right motion. And lots of pivoting. Side to side. Uh, shoulders can move out that far, which is great. 360 rotation around the shoulder. It doesn't want to because... That little part there on the shoulder is kind of in the way. Biceps will double joint the elbows. Wrists can hinge down that far, up that far, 360 rotation. And we get an ab crunch, which I like more than the... Oh, he can go for a lot, but it looks like his back is a little weird. Backwards a lot, Jesus. That's crazy. Uh, you get some side motion. Oh, that's cool. I like how they did that with the like little skirt piece. So instead of it being attached to this, it's like overlapping it. So that's kind of nice there. It's not so annoying. Um, but then when you get to the legs, the skirt piece does get in the way. So you can't like let them kick out to the side. Forward, not a whole lot. Uh, backwards, not a lot. You got a thigh cut, double jointed knees. Also gets in the way. No boot cut. Ankles can hinge down that far, up that far. Nice ankle pivot. So yeah, that's the new Doctor Strange figure for you. I really like this figure actually a lot. I like the ab crunch that they added in there instead of doing the ball joint, which barely gives them articulation. I will say the legs, um, they're a little limited, but like that's understandable because of that skirt piece. But besides that, I really like the design of the new suit. Uh, the cloak of levitation doesn't seem like it really forms well with this figure too well. So I, I would say probably like warm it up, probably try to form it to it as it cools down. Maybe it'll help. Um, and then I like how they got the details on the belt pretty good. So a nice clean paint job. Um, but yeah, I, I, I actually really like the design of Doctor Strange's new suit. I'm really excited for the movie. Um, I do recommend you get him. He's pretty badass looking. Um, I, I highly, I, I'm pretty sure that he'll uh, the value of this figure will go up in price at some point soon. So if you can, if you get, you can get, it. but if you can't, I understand. But like I said, it's an awesome figure, but that's all I really got for this figure. So if you guys want to help support me on my TikTok, Twitch, or Instagram, go ahead and check that out on my link tree in the description. But besides that, thanks for watching.